In Europe, there are four primary cruising river, which is Rhine, Danube, Volga, and Seine. Rhine is the number one river cruising destination in the world. Total 900 miles long, and it passes through six countries. Along the cruising route, Rhine is well known by its beautiful scenery and phenomenal history. Hi, this is Trip Oppo, help you to travel more for less. If you like my video, please don't forget to subscribe and give us a like. Register as Trip Oppo member, there will be more surprises waiting for you. First, do you know why is river cruising getting so popular? There are too many reasons, but I believe the top three reasons are the following. Number one, relaxing and more time to relax. Only packing and unpacking once, and saving time on the traffic. Visiting multiple destinations in one trip and enjoy views even while on board. Number two, smaller ship and fewer guests. After the pandemic, travelers are getting more care about the group size. Max 180 onboard passengers, and average 20 people per guided tour. Number three, truly immersive, bring you to the true heart of your destination, dock in the center of town. And why we are the best? because we are doing it right, doing it well. First, all-in-one price, babysitter-style package, including all meals, guided shore excursions, entrance fees, port taxes, airfare, transfers. Second, hand-picked ship and tailor-made itinerary, large picture window for each stateroom, extended itinerary to Lucerne. Trip Oppo is working in conjunction with Europe cruise specialist company called Crucimundo. We mainly use their four-star ships, like MS Cruestream, Star, and Crucevita. They are similar in size and design, and all refurbished around 2019. The sun deck offers great panoramic views of the area, and it is equipped with chairs, tables, awnings, and even jacuzzi. Spacious cabins are situated on three decks and are all similar in size, approximately. 150 square feet, all cabins are equipped with double and twin beds, satellite TV, safety deposit box, phone, hairdryer, minibar, individual heating and cooling system, in-room safe, private bathroom with individual shower. Cabins on the lower deck are fitted with two fixed picture windows. Superior cabins on the middle deck and deluxe cabins on the upper deck all have opening French balconies. Daily delicious is a big plus on this trip. Breakfast is in buffet style. Lunch and dinner are three courses set menu. Every meal you will have a next meal menu on your table for selecting your favorite courses. You will feel you are sitting in a five-star restaurant every day, not just a ship. This cruise itinerary is starting from Amsterdam. It is the Netherlands capital, known for its artistic heritage, elaborate canal system and narrow houses with gabled facades, legacies of the city's 17th century golden age. Average two bikes per household in Amsterdam. Cycling is key to the city's character, and there are numerous bike paths. There is also a local joke about the bikes. The depth of Amsterdam Canal is about 10 feet, because there are 7 feet of water and 3 feet of bikes. Morning tour will be finished around the noontime, lunch will be served on the ship at 1 p.m. Afternoon will be your free leisure time to join optional tour or discover the city on your own. The Open Air Museum in Arnhem is one of the biggest attractions of the Netherlands. The people of the museum thus appear to have run away from the past. They like to tell you about their lives and work. This tour takes you back in a setting of merchants' houses, 19th century farmhouses and mills of the Golden Age. The owners in authentical costumes in an authentical interior and setting will tell you more about their way of life, and serve you a cup of coffee or a pint of beer in the good old way. With a history of almost 2,000 years, Cologne is the one of the largest and oldest metropolitan cities of Germany. You will be amazed by the majestic twin-spurred cathedral, the Cologne Dom, one of the largest in Europe and the most important landmark of Cologne. The physical appearance of modern Cologne belies its ancient heritage. Allied bombing during World War II destroyed some 90% of the town. Therefore, much of what you see was rebuilt in the 1950s to 1960s. Our expert guide will give you a tour of the city and relate to you the history and sites of Cologne's storied past dating back to the 1st century BC when the Romans founded Colonia Agrippensis.
Koblenz is very happily situated at the meeting point of the Rhine and Moselle rivers. The section of the Rhine between Koblenz and Mainz, offer vistas of steep vineyard-covered mountains punctuated by scores of castles. It's really rather magical, cruising through the captivating UNESCO-designated Rhine Gorge, the most stunningly beautiful stretch of the river before reaching the winemaking town of Rudesheim. The Rhine Gorge is a popular name for the Upper Middle Rhine Valley, a 65 km section of the Rhine between Koblenz and Bingen in Germany. It was added to the UNESCO list of World Heritage Sites in June 2002 for a unique combination of geological, historical, cultural and industrial reasons. Heidelberg is a town on the Neckar River in southwestern Germany. It's known for venerable Heidelberg University, founded in the 14th century. The red sandstone ruins of Heidelberg Castle, it is a noted example of Renaissance architecture stand on Königstuhl Hill. Capital city of France's Alsace region, Strasbourg is situated on the Rhine at the German border. After arriving this morning, enjoy a panoramic bus tour that will take you past the Orangery, the town's oldest park, the European Parliament and the Place de la République. Afterwards, explore on foot with a walking tour of the lovely La Petite France, where you will see the Gothic Cathedral with its famous astronomical clock. Our cruise vacation is getting close to the end, but our trip is not finished yet. Crews will depart to Mainz before the captain dinner. After arriving Mainz in the early morning, crew member will bring your check-in luggage to the pier. Our coach bus will take you to Freiburg. Freiburg is the city of miniature streams and cobblestone streets, a future-focused environmental capital, a historic jewel in the middle of the Black Forest, and the sunniest city in Germany. On the next day, we will be heading to Lucerne, a compact city in Switzerland known for its preserved medieval architecture, and sits amid snow-capped mountains on Lake Lucerne. You may visit the scenery I am showing right now, they are located nearby our carefully picked hotel. You can ask the front desk for a free local public transportation day pass, or you can just walk around the lake and enjoy the moment of serenity, or I would highly recommend to join this breathtaking trip, optional half-day trip to Mount Pilatus with gondola ride. Your four-hour round-trip journey includes a 45 minutes boat ride on Lake Lucerne, 30 minutes panoramic gondola ride, and 20 minutes cable car back to the city. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to know more detail information about this tour, for example, our departure date, price and availability, please give us a call at the following number, or visit our website at www.tripapo.com. Again, if you like my video, please don't forget to subscribe, give me a like and share it to your friends.